Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna cover, of course, the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look over all the traditional market assets that we usually cover here to see where we closed on Friday and also what are the expectations. And also we're gonna have a deeper look into the CME chart because there we have some very bullish signs that also suggest that we should see continuations to the upside in the not so distant future my friends so first here in the spot chart you can see that Bitcoin is still in this uptrend above all the important moving averages and also above the EMA ribbons in the four hour time frame actually this is the three hour time frame we are getting right now a buy signal is not confirmed but it looks like that here we should be gearing up for another retest of this resistance that we have here of $59,500 because as you can see here also in the three and four hour time frame we are still in this uptrend and it looks like that we're building up this horizontal triangle and usually those are bullish continuation patterns so that means that we most likely gonna see here continuation to the upside so a big breakout to the upside pretty soon maybe also during this weekend and that of course would mean that we're gonna see a new all-time high during this weekend so we are entering quite bullish in this weekend usually I'm not trading over the weekends but of course if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and also confirm this fifty nine thousand five hundred dollar as a new support and then gear up to new all-time highs then I definitely gone up a new long position I closed yesterday my long position with this uh, pump here since usually I'm not keeping open a trade over the weekend but if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside then I definitely gonna open up a new one over on Bybit and the target in case that we're gonna see a successful breakout here to the upside the measured target let's say we're gonna break out here this would bring us towards this $67,000 approximately. So that means that if we're gonna break out here to the upside, this should be our target, at least this target, because there is also the chance that we could even go towards our main resistance up here, currently at around $72,000. But in my opinion, if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and create new all-time highs, it is very likely that here somewhere between $67,000 to $65,000, we maybe could top out and and then come back down because remember that wherever the price is going during the weekend most of the times it retraces back down where we closed the CMEs on Friday we're gonna have a look on that later on so this is just here the four hour time frame in the Bitcoin price we are looking bullish and I think also here a breakout to the upside is imminent here but of course there is a very high chance that we're gonna stay within this pattern here for the next coming hours maybe until um, Monday it is possible that we're gonna see the breakout uh, on Monday at least beginning of the next coming week that would be way more bullish in my opinion than seeing right now during the weekend a breakout to the upside because then most of the times we are coming back down to where we close the CMEs on Friday same like we have seen also here with the 62,000 all-time high that we had here during last weekend so the lower time frames are looking very bullish my friends and also if you're trading with my own indicator over on a discord you can see that currently we are flashing here with a buy signal and it will be confirmed within in an hour if we're gonna remain above the EMA ribbons and of course also if we're gonna keep this buy signal that we're having right now because all the indicators in the lower time frames are suggesting that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and also we're trading above the 50 level in the RSI so this is looking very bullish in my opinion and we should see here a breakout to the upside pretty soon if you want to take this long opportunity then make sure to go over to Bybit or Femex you find my refer links down below here in the video Video description if you still need an account over here because with my links you will get some extra bonus and of course you have some extra luck because you're supporting my channel and just to cover the bearish scenario if we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside of course we should be supported here by the main support currently here at around $54,000 but the measured target would bring us even lower so if we would break out here to the downside we could even drop again towards this $48,000 area which previously was important resistance and now is new support but if we're gonna break this structure here if we're gonna fall here to the downside in my opinion this would start 
start to look very bearish because then if we also would confirm this previous support trend line as a new resistance this could lead into a major major correction my friends so hopefully we're gonna break out here to the upside because we are in a very critical point here and we shouldn't drop lower than $54,000 at the time of recording because don't forget that day by day also this trend line is rising up here and then of course also our support is rising according to that so right now we have this main support at $54,000 we shouldn't drop and close hourly or four hourly candles below this important support line otherwise things could start to really look ugly in my opinion but everything is still pointing out that here we're gonna see very soon a breakout to the upside so make sure that you're able to trade this breakout and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that we had a close right at the nine daily moving average yesterday and currently we're trading above the nine daily moving average so if today we can close above this important moving average so above 58,100 and confirm it as a new support I'm pretty confident that here also very soon we're gonna get the buy signal and then of course things could really start to fire up here to the upside and we will see new all-time highs very soon and potentially test here the main resistance that we have currently here at around 72,000 dollar and of course uh, the more time passes the higher also this trend line is rising so if we're gonna see a breakout towards uh, the beginning of uh, next week then we could even pump here towards this 74 to 75 thousand dollar target so also the daily time frame is still looking very bullish my friends it looks like that we are coming back up above the nine daily moving average and that is of course what we want to see here in order to see a successful breakout to the upside and not just a fake out or something like that so the daily time frame is still looking very good and although we never dipped below the 20 daily moving average and didn't even come close here to the bottom of the EMA ribbons so the daily is also still looking bullish and uh, we're gonna have to update the 9 and 20 weekly moving average next week because currently they are here the 9 weekly is here at 47,300 very important support during the whole bull run and then of course also the 20 weekly moving average here $34,500 this is at least uh, my important support target if somewhere here on the way to the upside towards 100k we could fall off the cliffs here so if here we are not able to break out to the upside from this resistance trend line then this could be a big rising wedge and the measured target in theory would be down here at around thirty thousand dollar so if we would see here the price going very fast towards 100k i still think there is a very high chance that we could see one last big sell-off before we're gonna go towards uh, two to four hundred thousand dollar by end of this year because this is my expectations at least when bitcoin should be reaching those targets and that's why i think if somewhere here we're gonna get rejected and we are not able to break out here to the upside from this tr resistance trend line there is a very high chance that this rising wedge will play out and then we could retrace back down here towards the 30k area but I don't think that we will go lower than the 20 weekly moving average, which currently is here at $34,000 and that's why it is very important that we are keeping a very close eye into this moving average because if somewhere we're gonna see a big sell-off then this should hold as a very strong support because Bitcoin during a bull market never goes below the 20 weekly moving average at least it never closes below this important moving average and that's why this one is a very very key level if somewhere in the future we're gonna see a big sell-off so these two important moving averages we're gonna cover next week because they will be quite higher and that of course is very bullish also for the bearish scenario because in that case we wouldn't drop that far away from where we are right now. So that's why it is very important that we are updating these two moving averages every week. And now my friends let's go over to the CME chart and I want to show you here the daily time frame because also here in the CME chart this chart excludes always weekend data because on the CMEs we are not trading during the weekend so here you have a slightly different chart and as you can see here we never reached $62,000 since the all-time high of $62,000 in the spot chart happened during the weekend we are not seeing this on the CMEs. And here in the daily time frame, we have a clear ascending triangle forming and the measured target here of this breakout would take us also here towards our main resistance of around $72,000. 
dollar if here we are able to break out to the upside and also here a breakout to the upside is imminent my friends so that's why as soon as we're gonna open up the cmes on monday i think that very very soon here we're gonna see a big breakout to the upside hopefully to the upside and not to the downside because if to the downside you know the bearish targets but if we are able to break out higher here then i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see seventy two thousand dollar incoming very soon probably towards the end of next Next week maybe even in the beginning of April and then of course we are starting to go completely parabolic here towards our targets between 75 to 100 K at least this is where I'm expecting a potential local top then a washout a big sell-off and then continuation towards targets way above 100 K at least this is my expectation my theory but one thing is for sure that if here we're gonna see a breakout to the upside we will go straight towards the 75,000 dollar area everything is still looking very bullish here on the cme chart and one more thing that confirms me that we are most likely going to break out here to the upside is not of course this buy signal that is already confirmed here in the daily time frame in my indicator but also here on the cme chart we never closed a single candle below the nine daily moving average here you can see that we only had a couple of weeks below but we never closed a daily candle below the nine daily moving average since we recovered back up here from our main support that we have here right at forty seven thousand dollar once we had here this huge correction and then of course we recovered straight back up afterwards you can see that we never closed a daily candle again below the nine daily moving average and this is very very important and very bullish my friend so this is looking way more bullish than the spot chart because here we are still fighting with this nine daily moving average but on the cmes we never closed below and that's why i think here most likely next week we're gonna see new all-time highs for sure and you definitely want to be loaded up with enough bitcoin and with a nice long position once we are breaking out here so make sure that you have already your hodl portfolio ready my friends because we most likely are entering into a very parabolic phase here to the upside and also the thing that we have this bullish cross incoming here in the stochastic rsi in the weekly time frame signals also that we could see a very very parabolic move to the upside and the pumps that we have seen so far is nothing compared to what we're gonna see here in the not so distant future so fasten your seatbelt, my friends because i think in the next coming weeks we're gonna see some very huge gains to the upside the only problem is that if we are starting to close daily candles below the main support that we have here currently here on the cmes at fifty five thousand five hundred dollar then of course this would be the night and we will see the bearish scenario where we would fall down here potentially towards the beginning of this rising wedge and also here on the CMEs it would be somewhere around thirty thousand dollar and maybe we could even drop towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is here twenty two thousand dollar I don't think that is likely but if we're gonna see like a 200 daily moving average retest this would be right now here at around twenty two thousand dollar but as I told you it's very unlikely that we're gonna see the bearish scenario most likely we're gonna see here continuation to the upside and a big sell-off or a big washout is still far away from us but of course if we would lose these important supports that we have here and also we would get some big sell signals in our cycle top indicators then of course that would be a big warning signs and then of course i would take some profits because you definitely want to take profits before we're starting the sell-off here so that's why we have to keep a very close eye on several indicators but we covered already the cycle top indicators in some videos ago and it looks like that we still have some few left to the upside and and that here the 60k area is not the top and we're gonna see continuation to the upside pretty soon so everything is still looking very bullish my friends i would start to consider to open up some longs because here things could really start to pump very very quickly and to get the most gains as possible you definitely want to accumulate right now more bitcoin and also start longing once we're gonna break out here from this pattern here in the lower time frames that we are seeing right now so the show is currently here on bitcoin 
and if we have a look here in the ethereum price you can see that we are still stuck here between these two important fibonacci retracement levels and it looks like that ethereum is glued into this uh, price action and cannot break out here from this resistance and support that we have currently but sooner or later it will pump sooner or later ethereum will follow bitcoin and therefore i'm also pretty bullish on ethereum i'm still mining ethereum i'm still accumulating more ethereum i'm also a bit disappointed that ethereum is not performing better right now but I can promise you that as soon as Ethereum is starting to pump and create new all-time highs also here we're gonna see very huge parabolic runs to the upside and that's why you want to accumulate also Ethereum while we are going sideways or while we are seeing these uh, pullbacks you definitely don't want to FOMO in once we are going off the races here because uh, prices can really rise up very very quickly overall in the altcoin space but especially here here for ethereum so also here we still have some time to buy more ethereum i think ethereum will definitely follow bitcoin very very soon especially if here we are reaching our next bullish targets of around seventy thousand dollar and now before we're gonna wrap this up my friends let's have a look also into the dxy because on friday we closed here the dxy at 91 dollars 90 and this is right below our resistance that we still have here at around 92 dollars we got here a buy signal but wasn't confirmed so the dxy is still in an uptrend here in the daily time frame we are getting supported by the 20 daily moving average but we are also very close to our main resistance here at the 200 daily moving average at 92.70. So even though the DXY could still see some pumps here towards the 200 daily moving average, I'm pretty confident that also here sooner or later, we're gonna see a big sell off, a big dump out of this 200 daily moving average resistance if we are able to reach these levels and then see continuation to the downside again towards our support that we have here at around 89 so even though the DXY could see some more pumps to the upside here for the short to mid term I'm still leaning more bearish here that sooner or later here we are getting a big sell off a big rejection from these higher levels up here and that of course would be very much in favor for the crypto market and also for the stock market and speaking about stock market let's have a look here into Nasdaq because unfortunately Nasdaq yesterday had here a close below the 20 and 9 daily moving average let's hope that this incoming week will be bullish for Nasdaq because in my opinion this will also be in favor for the crypto market if Nasdaq is able to go back into an uptrend because if we are getting now resistance here at the 20 and 9 daily moving average we could see the price squeezing here between the 120 daily moving average before we're gonna see then a huge breakout to the upside or also to the downside because if we gonna close here below the 100 daily moving average there is a very high chance that we could even drop here towards the 200 daily moving average and test this important line here right at around $12,000 so let's hope that the Nasdaq is able to recover straight back up in this week. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see a green week for the stock market incoming, but this is of course what we need to see then next week. All right, my friends, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget to join this special Femix Arena trading event that is starting on the 24th of March. You have still three days left to join this tournament. We can win at the moment up to three Bitcoin. And if you want to trade with me and my community, then join this Chinese guy in the last competition. I was also with this guy. That's why I am following this Chinese trader because last time we became second and that's why I stick with this guy if you want to join it this is the team that you need to follow and entry if you want to join this competition and for everyone that is trying to also make some profits with leverage trading but you don't want to trade yourself with leverage then maybe try out prime xpt because over here we have this unique co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders by just sign up here with the link that you find down below here in the video description you don't need kyc nothing you can also use my promo codes to get less fees and some deposit bonus then you can just top up some bitcoin and immediately you can start following other successful traders so definitely check it out prime xpt if you're interested all the links are down below here also the one for the femex trading event 
And for all newcomers, also check out Swissborg, Binance and Coinbase. Those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using if you want to buy and sell cryptos with your bank account. So definitely try them out. Those are all the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. And if you use my referral links, you will get also some extra money with your first purchase. So if you like the content, my friends, hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat. If you want to join our community over here on Discord, then make sure to use the official link, the official invitation link that you find only here in the video description. If you click on this link, then you have to go here to read first and click on the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to our trading chat. And if you want to get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signal for Bitcoin, then of course you have to send me a private message because a little donation is needed in order to get access to it. Otherwise, you can also just click here below my videos where it says membership here. Also, you can get a membership and of course, also free access to the indicator live stream over on Discord. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.